Pembroke Welsh Corgis are intelligent, loyal and athletic dogs. They are also known as Pembrokes, Pems or PWCs. Pembroke Corgi is a cattle herding dog breed originated in Pembrokeshire, Wales. They were originally bred to herd cattle. They are the smallest member of the herding dogs group. Pembroke Welsh Corgis are often confused with their cousin, Cardigan Welsh Corgis. However, both are considered as different breeds. Cardigan is the oldest, while Pembroke is the most popular of the two corgi breeds. As their name indicates, Pembrokes were developed in the Pembrokeshire area of Wales. There are different theories about their origin. According to Welsh legend, the dogs were a gift from fairies who rode them like horses. Apart from fairies, some historians suggest Pembrokes are descended from Swedish cattle dogs, Valhuns, that came to Britain with the Vikings. Another theory states that Pembrokes came to Wales in the 12th century with Flemish weavers. Pembroke corgis need a high quality dog food that contains all essential nutrients. Good food is mandatory for their long and healthy life. A dog's age, metabolism and activity level defines a lot about their food demand. Puppies are in the phase of growing and need more calories than adult dogs. Senior dogs have a slow metabolism and need food that has low fat calories. If your dog is more active, he will need more calories. In the US, food brands are supposed to meet the requirements set by the AAFCO. Buy food brands that are AAFCO compliant. Protein is the most important factor in a dog's food. Apart from many other health benefits, it contains essential amino acids that a dog's body cannot produce. Protein must be the first ingredient on the dog's food label, since these ingredients are arranged according to the decreasing order of their weight. According to AAFCO, a puppy dog needs at least 22%, while an adult dog needs at least 18% of protein content in their food. Fats are supposed to be the second main ingredient on the food label. Fats are highly digestible and provide a concentrated source of energy. According to AAFCO, a puppy needs at least 8%, while an adult dog needs at least 5% of fat content in their food. These are minimum requirements. Ideally, Corgi's food should have more fat content than these. Some of the other main ingredients are supposed to be carbohydrates, vitamins, minerals, etc. Obesity is more common in Pembrokes due to their high food drive. Overweight will lead to many other health issues like joint and heart diseases. Give them meals at specific times and monitor their food intake. Since corgis have a long back, obesity will cause severe joint disease in them. Pembrokes are working dogs belonging to the herding dogs group. They were bred to have great stamina and herd flock all day. They need a healthy amount of exercise daily. Corgis need a minimum of one hour daily walk divided into two or three outings. You can play different games with them like playing fetch, running alongside a bicycle, swimming, etc. Without adequate exercise, their mental and physical growth will be disturbed. They might show signs of some behavioural problems, such as barking, howling or digging. Lack of proper exercise activities will make your dog obese, which can become severe due to their long back. Their coat comes in four different colours. Red, sable, fawn and tricoloured. Corgis have a double layered coat, which is waterproof. Some corgis are born with longer coats and are called fluffy corgis. Their soft, medium-length coat is easy to groom. Corgis shed heavily during spring and fall. Brush them once a week, but during their shedding season, they need to be brushed daily. Their ears need to be checked weekly for any kind of dirt, debris or wax accumulation. Any bad odour coming from ears means infection in the ear. Use a gentle pH-balanced ear cleaning solution to clean their ears. Don't insert Q-tips into their ear canal. Trim their nails every two weeks or when they've grown enough. Long nails can break easily, which creates infection. Be careful not to cut the quick portion of their nails. A dog's teeth may develop tartar or gum diseases. Bad breath is an indication of bad dental hygiene. Brush them daily or several times a week. Use a dog's toothbrush and paste. Corgis are smart dogs and have a tendency to please their owners. Training them is very easy as they love to learn new tricks. 
start the training process early, right after the eighth week of their age. Early training is important before your puppy adopts any bad behaviors. Since corgis were bred to be herding dogs, they have a strong herding nature. Because of their herding instinct, they may start herding your kids by nipping them at heels. Discourage this behavior when your corgi is a puppy, use positive methods, and don't use force. Since Pembroke Corgis are pack dogs, it is really important that, from an early age, you establish yourself as alpha and leader of the pack. If you fail to do so, Corgi will consider himself as the pack leader, and the training process will be disturbed. Again, you don't need to use force or punish your dog. Just start training them from an early age, and they will look up to you as alpha. No doubt, Pembrokes are intelligent dogs but sometimes they can show stubbornness because of their temperament. It only happens sometimes, and in such cases, deal with them patiently without showing any anger. Some of the other main techniques which your corgi needs to learn are obedience training, leash training, potty training, and crate training. Due to the length of these topics, they cannot be covered in this video. Like any other dog breed, Pembrokes need early socialization. They need to be exposed to different sounds, places, and experiences. Socialization will help them be a well-behaved adult dog. They can get along easily with other pets if they're raised with them. Enrolling in a kindergarten class is a great idea to socialize them. Three to six months of age is the prime time for socialization. During this time, it is really important that your dog has positive experiences with different people, pets, and sights. Pembroke Welsh Corgis have an average lifespan of 12 to 15 years. They're generally healthy dogs, but prone to certain health issues. Some of the most common health concerns of Corgis are canine hip dysplasia, von Willebrand's disease, degenerative myelopathy, progressive retinal atrophy, etc. It is a common disease of dogs, but Corgis are more susceptible to it because of their long straight back. Hip dysplasia is characterized by the abnormality in the dog's hip joint on one or both sides. Obesity and lack of exercise are the two main reasons for hip dysplasia. As it is a hereditary disease, make sure to ask about the hip clearance certificates of puppy parents from the breeder. Degenerative myelopathy is a serious, life-threatening condition that affects a dog's spinal cord, nervous system, and brain. It affects dogs in later stages of their life, during 8 to 14 years. Currently, there is no cure for this disease. However, since it is a hereditary disease, it can be prevented if your puppy parents are genetically tested for it. Many fatal diseases in a dog can be avoided if the puppy parents are genetically tested before mating. Genetic tests will make sure that your puppy doesn't inherit the disease-causing genes. Buy from a good and reputed breeder who shows you the clearances and certificates about puppy parents. In Pembroke Welsh Corgis, you need to ask for the following health clearance certificates. Certificate from OFA or Penhip about hip dysplasia. Certificates from OFA for elbow dysplasia, hypothyroidism, von Willebrand's disease. Certificate from CERF for eyes. You can confirm these certificates by visiting OFA or CHIC websites.